first of all, 10 years ago, somebody asked me to write an autobiography. And I went, well, why? <laughs> and they went, well, you're kind of interesting and we could sell lots of books. I went, yeah, but, you know, I, I'm not really done yet. So, and then I got throat cancer and I thought, you know, there's a, there's an outside possibility I might be done sooner than I intended. And so when I got all clear of that, uh, then the question got revisited. And I went, you know what, this, this is a really good end point. Yeah, I don't think that anybody who's ever been, you know, had a, you know, a really nasty bullying experience, whatever, it never leaves you. It leaves a permanent, leaves a permanent mark on your, you know, on, on your insides. And that manifests it in different people in different ways. With me, um, it makes me very angry. <laughs> I get really cross, you know. And so if I see somebody else being bullied, it makes me really angry. And it's not so much the bullying. I think it was the institutionalised uh, sort of cruelty, I suppose, that you get in 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 a boarding school of that generation. I mean, we are talking 30 years ago, let's face it. But there's a whole generation of people who've grown up who were um, subjected to that. And I think that does leave marks on people. Um, you know, uh, it is a bit like being in jail. <laughs>